new products are being forced onto the market because of these new efficiency standards. During the making of this video, we are about to have a transition in the heating and air industry where you're gonna see new products coming out because of the new efficiency standards that are coming out January 1st, 2023. And so in the past and during the making of this video, we've always had SEER ratings that were attached to air conditioners and heat pump systems. You could use that rating when comparing how efficient that system was. So for example, if a system had a 14 SEER number attached to it versus say a 20 SEER, the higher that number, the more efficient that system was. The Department of Energy came out and said, look, this is not a good representation. It's not a fair number to attach to these systems. A lot of them are inaccurate for different reasons. And so they came out with a more stricter guideline testing, if you will. They got real creative with the name, with these new systems, and they called it SEER 2. So creative. Uh, basically, they wanted to differentiate the different ratings. That way, when folks see the SEER 2, they understand that it's different than the SEER ratings. And so to get a SEER 2 rating, systems are going through different testing. They're going through more stricter process. I've done other videos on what some of those processes are, if you're curious. But ultimately, instead of us having all these systems that have SEER numbers, Instead of just taking those systems and then just retesting them and attaching a SEER 2 number to them, instead, most of the manufacturers are having to come out with totally different product line in some cases. What we've seen with a lot of the main manufacturers is even if the equipment is pretty equivalent, even if the equipment is very similar, whether it be the footprint size or dimensions or even performance, they are at bare minimum changing the model numbers in a lot of cases. So they're saying you used to be 14 SEER had this model number, but now a 14.3 SEER 2 system, it's gonna to be totally different. It's gonna be this model number. And so we're seeing a lot of the manufacturers do that and it's gonna be interesting to see how they handle that, how they say, we've got these SEER 2 systems and how they differentiate themselves. I already know how at least one or two of them are going to be handling that, but we'll see how that gets handled across the board as we get closer to January. So my point in making this video is to tell you, we've got these new model numbers that are coming out and we're also seeing new products in general that are hitting the market to meet these new standards. So I think over the next year, I gotta say, I've never seen a time like this in my career. I don't believe there's ever been a time where we're seeing so many new things hit the market all at once. The new efficiency standards, of course, the new refrigerant systems that are starting to come out and will be fully rolled out in the next couple of years. And then, of course, a lot of the other changes that are being taken in effect because of the new laws that are being passed and so on, doing away with certain things that we've all been accustomed to, like fossil fuel burning furnaces. So we'll see what happens with that. But I've just never seen a time like this where so many things are coming out. So many new things are hitting the market, not to mention the price increases we've experienced over the last couple of years with inflation and all of that. But now with these new SEER 2 systems that are coming out, we're seeing a just across the board price increase. I've had questions on what those price increases will be. I think that will depend on a number of factors. But ultimately, I think that you need to know that those price increases are at least significant. I can't speak for all the regions in the country, but I'm in Virginia. We're in the Southeast region of the country. And so we're being pushed from a 14 SEER minimum to a 14.3 SEER 2 minimum. And that's kind of equivalent to a 15 SEER system. And so with this new standard, the 14.3, I'm hearing from some of the manufacturers that even though that's the new standard, that if they have an old 14 SEER system, as long as it was manufactured before that January 1st cutoff, they can still sell that unit and install it, still warranty it and everything. So as long as that equipment was manufactured pre that January 1st, that they'll be fine and still be able to sell that, still be able to honor the warranties and so on. So I know I'm hitting you with a lot of information. I have a feeling that I will be hitting you with even more coming up, all the new stuff coming out. I have relationships with a couple of the bigger manufacturers and I gotta say, a lot of them are up in the air a little bit too. We're not really sure exactly the best way to handle this and that and 
how things are going to be rolling out. In a perfect world, you would see the Sear stuff continue to be made because it's less expensive all the way up through December. And as you get closer to that December 31st deadline, then you would start to see that Sear 2 stuff roll out. But unfortunately, that's not the case. In a manufacturing world, you know, these manufacturers have to figure out, you know, how much can I sell? How much inventory do I want to have and continue to push out of this old stuff now that we've got to get all the manufacturer the conveyor belts and everything switched over and start rolling out this new stuff in addition and eventually permanently replacing it you might order a system and there will be a delay on getting that system but i think you're also going to see some cases i've already experienced it at griffin air and that is where a customer said i want this older system you gave me this quote and we're having to say, look, you're going to have to replace that quote now with this SEER 2 system. We can't get that anymore. And we're already starting to kind of see that. I think as we get closer to December, you're going to see a whole lot more of that. You're going to see folks that got a quote, they wanted that system, and then fortunately they're not going to be able to. They're going to have to go with one of the new SEER 2 systems. So from a homeowner standpoint, other than the ratings, a lot of the equipment's going to look exactly the same. A lot of the manufacturers are trying to be cognizant of dimension sizing. If you're pulling out a, an air handler that's 21 inches wide and you want to go back with an air handler that's 21 inches wide, a lot of them are trying to be mindful of that and do their best. But I think that that's something that folks are going to have to be aware of. As you're continuing down this journey and getting quotes and being in the market for buying a heating and air system, you got to be mindful of those delays and possibly changes in general. So Anyway, what are your thoughts? I know I hit you with a lot of information there. I want to keep you in the know if you are in the market for a heating and air system. These new standards are changing a lot of things, including the pricing, but also the way things are done in general. The model numbers we're all used to, you might see new model numbers coming out, new systems, new SEER 2 ratings, and so on. So let me know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.